Hi, this is Andrew Hunter, and in this video, I want to give you a quick demonstration of how the FB Flywheel plugin works. We're here on the dashboard page of FB Flywheel, and I've got two campaigns created. You can create an unlimited number of campaigns within your installation. We've got two campaigns running here, and the, this one is the main campaign that I've got running on my member Sonic site. And you can see I can track the visitors and the leads and conversion rate, the number of subscribers who have connected through the button today. And there's a number of different things I can do within the dashboard. Dashboard. I can edit a campaign or I can add a new campaign and I can look at the analytics of, a, of an existing campaign. But if I were to click on the edit button, you can see these are the details of how you set up a campaign. And it's very straightforward. There's steps you can walk through and some of them are optional. But the first one is you create your campaign. You specify the page they're going to be redirected to if they successfully connect through the Facebook Connect button and allow the app to connect. If they don't and they hit cancel, they're redirected to any page you specify. Now, this is a perfect opportunity to get them back into your sales funnel and then have them opt in again. So you put that same connect button on that same page with an, an additional message and additional incentive to get them to connect through and complete the uh, application. You can specify an image, a custom image, or you can choose from one of the default images for the button, the, the connect button itself. Uh, here's the settings for the Facebook application and then here's the where you integrate your autoresponder. Now we integrate through a form code so you can integrate virtually any autoresponder that generates HTML form code. Section 4 is the welcome wall post. This isn't optional. You can enable or disable it, but you can see this is basically what you would see on somebody's wall and somebody's timeline when they connect through the button. And you can specify the content for each one of these elements, so it's very dynamic in the settings. Section four, 5 is optional. You can set your button to be a pop-up within a page or a post. And there's a number of different elements that you can customize here in the, as well as the dimensions of the pop-up. Again, section 6, you can alternatively have an exit pop-up. So when they go to leave your page, the pop-up will display with your button on it. And finally, in section 7, again, which is optional, you can actually integrate with GoToWebinar and have them automatically registered for a webinar when they click through the Facebook Connect button. Now we've got some cool analytics here as well. If I click on subscribers, you'll be able to see a listing of all the different subscribers that have connected through the button and you can get some demographics like their their uh, gender, their age, their birth date, location, the date they were added, and you can delete a subscriber from this listing. You can also export this listing to a CSV file, so it's perfect for if you're doing some Facebook ads. Finally, we've got the analytics section where you can get a graphical analysis of all of the leads that have connected through various campaigns. So you can filter, all, uh, you can select one campaign or you can filter individually by a campaign and you can see by week or you can see monthly data as well. If I click submit here on the monthly chart you can see we've got uh, January and February data. And then finally the lab of demographic information that we can select from is under demographics. Click submit and now you can see that we've got demographics by male and female and the age groups as well. So there's some great information here that you collect right within Facebook Flywheel to be able to do an analysis of your market and who's been connecting through your Facebook button. Now how do you get a Facebook button on a page? Very easy. If we open a new page or a post, I'll click on post add new. And within the post page and post editor, we have this icon right here. And if we were to click on that, you can select the type of code that you want to insert on a page or post, whether it's a short code, the pop-up short code, or the exit short code, or you can select the HTML form code, which means you can put that on any site. It doesn't have to be on your WordPress site. You can put it on an HTML page, and this, the Facebook Connect button will still work. So you just select the short code, select the campaign you want, and say insert code, and there it is right there. And now if I click save and view, you'd be able to see the button on this particular page. If you want to see it in action, click on the link directly below this. You can see the Facebook Lite opt-in form that I have there, and you can see exactly how it works.